What is up guys and welcome to the uh, fifth part of the how to code a minecraft kit server uh, What I want to do today is I'm going to uh, do a few things in the player listener uh, Specifically I'm going to make sure that there isn't a message that whenever a player joins it says like uh, Player joined the game and player left the game I kind of want I would want to remove that from it because it's useless Especially with a bigger server it gets annoying after a while and I want to uh, add like a nice death message uh, instead of the default one, I want to uh, make it, give it some color, give it a little, you know, a little uniqueness. So first of all, we need to uh, uh, do go to into the player listener on the left, and you type in again event ha uh, event handler. There we go. And now we're uh, to have whenever a player leaves, uh, which is on player kick uh, quit. There we go. We'll do player quit event event. There we go. Uh, Control Shift O to import it. There we go. Uh, event dot set quit message null. There we go. And that basically what it does is whenever a player uh, leaves the game, leaves the server, uh, it won't give a message that you know the yellow thing like player leaves game, player joins game. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we can also do that on player join. Uh, we'll do event dot set join message no and then uh, because there are there is a difference in between when someone gets kicked and when someone leaves the game uh, by themselves uh, we'll do public void on player kick player kick event event there we go that's just uh, the usual stuff control shift o import it and we'll uh, we'll set the quit message uh, leave message to know again and that will basically stop people from uh, sending messages again which is um, good <laughs> and uh, we'll eventually later on in the series we'll probably add more stuff to player kick player quit like um, give them remove their kit from them and teleport them back to spawn and just stuff like that which will uh, eventually happen um, now to make the uh, the death messages uh, we're going to do event handler again uh, public void it's all the same really and then on player death there we go and now we'll do player death event event um, control shift O import it and basically what the death message is it's just a string uh, so with the string message is event dot get death message that's basically the default one and now to actually you could like set it yourself like uh, do event that set death message and uh, do it like hi <laughs> when you do that whenever someone dies it just says hi in the chat that's not what we want really we uh, we want just the same the same messages that are default but with some color in it and uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we uh, we're gonna do message which is the message up there and then that's uh, with a color, so I don't know what color we can do. We can let you check color dot gold, gold, and then plus message. And basically, what that does is it, it's the exact same death message, except you made it gold with the message, and that's in there. So now all we need to do is we need to set the actual message of the event. So with the event set death message message, and in that order, it will basically it will get the death messages. It, it will put a, a gold chat color in front of it and then it will make the event have a gold chat color because you, we, we reset it to the message that's in here now you can do you can do this all in one line but you know I kind of like it to show you what it happens what happens in steps and uh, that's good now what else can we do now I'm not going to do it in, in, in like specific order I'm basically doing it what I what I think of because I haven't you know, I haven't scripted all of this. I'm doing this all out of my head. And now, what what every almost every kit server has is that the the hunger of any player it doesn't like go down, which uh, it will be annoying if it does in a kit server because it's not really the point of losing hunger. Um, so what we do for that, we've got a special little thing for that. Uh, it's also an event like whenever someone's hunger goes down, the server runs an event saying that the hunger of that player went down so we'll do it again we'll do uh, event handler which is all the same public void on hunger and then I think 
it's player hunger event now I'm not completely sure about this is it um, hmm is it in here on player probably like hunger change uh, you can also always look in here uh, item consume that's not it pick up quit sheer entity toggle sneak uh, on hunger entity hang on let me <laughs> look this up real quick so what we're going to do is um, uh, uh, bucket on hunger change event and then uh, we'll just look that up there we go food level change event now whenever you have a problem you just google it like literally everything everyone before you ha has had that problem pretty much so uh, it's food level change event food level change event now that should work import it control shift O. there we go it changed and uh, yeah so I think what we're going to do is player player is event dot get entity there we go um, you don't have to worry about the entity not being a player because an entity can be both a mob and a player but you know with mobs there's no such thing as actually changing the food the hunger level so we can just safely do this player which will turn the player into a uh, entity and now we uh, we do event dot um, set console wait Oh, we can actually do that. We don't have to uh, do anything else, really. We can just remove the player because we are not going to do anything with the player. Um, that is actually quite easy. <laughs> it's easier than I thought. So basically what this does is uh, whenever the food level changes, so whenever you lose a hunger or whenever you gain a hunger, uh, it runs this event and it will say, no, uh, you can't run the event, it's cancelled. So it won't. So your hunger won't go down and your hunger... Uh, won't go up actually that is a thing but it will never go down so you don't have to worry about it now this will also be like um, if you would do this in a server where players already have played and their um, th their hunger would be half full and you put this in this code like fresh in that would mean that players uh, couldn't actually gain any hunger either and they will be stuck at this but because of us uh, we will never actually go down and um, if there's a player that actually like that had half hunger and you put this in he can basically just kill himself <laughs> it's not like <laughs> you can just do like suicide and then his hunger will be full and then his hunger won't go down anymore so those are basically some you know some events that you can uh, that you can add to your server uh, which are pretty much essential to a kit server uh, what we did again we uh, we, we made the, the leave quit message and join message disappear by uh, removing it we uh, we get the 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 death color a nice a nice color now if you want something like in front of it so uh, for instance uh, you can have like um, you know PvP of some sorts um, let's we can actually do that right now it's a, it's a good add addition to it uh, we need to make sure to see if the uh, if the player was uh, T what, what do we need to do? Yeah, okay, I've got it. So, and I'm thinking this out loud. So, uh, basically, what we need to do is, um, when whenever the player death event runs, you you don't know if the killer is an actual player or the killer is like an a, a mob or or some other environment damage. So, what we're going to do is, uh, if event dot get killer, I think, uh, get what is it? Killer get player. Hang on get entity I think isn't it yeah dot get killer there we go uh, instance of player then um, that means that the actual kid that the player died by another player and we'll do else uh, that means that if it's not then that will run and that will remove this there we go and what I want to do is I want to have like in front of this message I want to have PvP when the player died by um, b by another player, which means player versus player, and if they didn't die by another player, I wanted to have PVE, which means player versus environment or like enemies. Um, and so what we have right now is um, whenever a player dies, 
uh, it will check if the other player if, if the player died by an actual player and if that if that is so it will put pvp in front of it uh, and if it's not it will put PV, pve in front of it now let's uh, let's just quickly export this uh, we'll, we'll test this we'll probably like a, uh, test every edition at every end of every episode so we'll add that there we go that is uh, in our usual local server uh, go to plugins we we did that now we're going to run the server uh, it's exactly the same as last time pretty much you're going in you're going into your minecraft there we go uh, i'm not sure what it did right here play there we go that was weird uh player we're going to local host there we go now it's in uh, it says hi Srilam. welcome to s kits that is all good and now what we need to do is pretty much die <laughs> Because we're going to test the death messages. So if this zombie can kill us, please. Now, it's a little bit choppy because I'm using a frame recorder and not an actual, like, Fraps or Deke story. So don't worry about that. Now, when we die, there we go. It says PVE, which means player versus environment. Surreal was slain by a zombie. So it, it, it knew that the, the actual killer of us... Um... Fuck. <laughs> go away. Let's get the sword out. Ah, uh, we'll kill them. Um, so yeah, it, it did well. It, it added the uh, the death message. It made it gold, and it knew that the actual other player wasn't a killer, so I put PVE in there. Now what I want to do is I'm just gonna run around. I know it works, but I just want to show you that you can run around infinitely now, and it will uh, your hunger will not go down, which is the code we did. And another thing is um, when we joined, there wasn't an actual welcome message, which you did see in the last episode. Like Surilem joined the server. Uh, it didn't this time. So everything seems to be working. Uh, on player kick, it said a leave message, said leave. So whenever we would disconnect, it was also not showed the other players on the server the actual message. Um, and it, the uh, the death thing worked. Uh, it, it knew that we were, that the, the event that kept killer wasn't an actual player. So it did PVE, player versus environment. And uh, we've got infinite hunger right now because the food, whenever it's, the food changes, the event gets cancelled right there. Yeah, <sighs> so that seems to be all be working. Um, thank you guys for watching this uh, episode. Next episode, we'll do some more stuff. I'm not exactly sure what to do because I'm uh, pretty much making everything up as we go. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the series, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.